Thank you, Devante, for the tag. We've got a headline here by IGN that says, LAPD officers fired for chasing Snorlax in Pokemon Go instead of robbers. And when I saw this headline, I, I couldn't believe it. I could imagine this happening years ago. I mean, kind of, because that's still freaking absurd. But years ago, Pokemon Go was more hype. It turns out this did actually happen years ago, but the court documents were just obtained and released to the public. But here's the story. Former Los Angeles Police Department officers Louis Lozano and Eric Mitchell were on patrol on April 15th, 2017, when they got a call about a robbery occurring at Macy's at Crenshaw Mall. Calls began going out to police in the vicinity to respond, and some, like a unit that was at a homicide crime scene, rushed over to the mall. Lozano and Mitchell, on the other hand, ignored the call at first, and then responded with a simple no when asked again. As it turns out, they willfully failed to respond to the robbery call and attempted to conceal the fact by saying they were somewhere other than where they actually were. After listening to the recording in Lozonzo and Mitchell's police car, the LAPD also discovered they were playing Pokemon Go on the day of the robbery. The recording showed that at approximately 6.09 p.m., just five minutes after Officer Lozano said, screw it, to checking in with communications about the robbery call, Officer Mitchell alerted Lozano that Snorlax just popped up at 46 and Lemert. The court documents read, after noting that Lemert doesn't go all the way to 46, Lozano responded, oh, you know what I can do? I'll go down 11th and swing up on Crenshaw. I know that way I can get to it. <laughs> I guess it is the Snorlax. Mitchell suggested a different route, then told Lozano, we got four minutes. For approximately the next 20 minutes, the DICVS captured petitioners discussing Pokemon as they drove up to different locations where the virtual creatures apparently appeared on their mobile phones. On their way to the Snorlax location, Officer Mitchell alerted Officer Lozano that a Togetic just popped up, noting it was on Crenshaw, just south of the 50th. After Mitchell apparently caught the Snorlax exclaiming, got him, petitioners agreed to go get the Togetic and drove off. So quick side note, as you probably can presume, petitioners is referring to these two officers, but the article doesn't actually explain why until the end. Uh, it doesn't even really make that too clear, but uh, it's my presumption that they're being referred to as petitioners at this point in the article because later on the article does say that they tried to get the court to dismiss these charges because they weren't aware that their conversation was being recorded. But we'll get to that in a moment. Just wanted to clear that up. So continuing. After successfully catching the Togetic, after Lozano buried it and ultra balled it, <laughs> that's what the, these are quotes. Like apparently the freaking officer literally said that he buried it and ultra balled it. I'm laughing at how absurd it is. Like that's just a creepy way of putting it, man. Yeah, I buried that Pokemon, ultra balled it. Like, dude, it's it's Pokemon. Pokemon are cute. Like, calm down. Of course, language aside, it's also absurd that they even did this to begin with. Like the whole thing. Anyways, continuing, they decided to return to a 7-Eleven to end their watch. Later, they would lie about playing the game and even said they were merely having a conversation about Pokemon Go and that they were capturing an image of the Pokemon on the tracking app. They were charged with multiple counts of on-duty misconduct and fired and would later try to appeal their case by saying that they weren't aware their conversations were being recorded and that their words should be considered private. On January 7, 2022, the court denied the appeal. Okay, so a couple things. Let's talk about their excuse first of all merely having a conversation about Pokemon Go and they were just trying to capture an image of the Pokemon on the tracking app? Like, <laughs> no, uh, judge, it's okay. We weren't actually playing Pokemon Go. We were just trying to capture an image of a Pokemon on a, uh, on, on, a, on a tracking app. Yeah, like that's supposed to be better. That's supposed to make it okay on top of the fact that they were then lying to the judge. I'm also curious what penalty they received for the on-duty misconduct because it says they were charged with multiple counts of on-duty misconduct, but they don't tell us what actually occurred, and fired. So I'm just going to presume that there was some other penalty along with being fired, because I certainly would imagine officers should take their job seriously, and on-duty misconduct should be taken seriously as well. But yeah, that's my thoughts on that. That's the story. Thank you for tuning in. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll see you there, and also in the next segment on the way.